This guy go. Oh. <laughs> On the show tonight, France's most famous actor. Actually, I'm quite fluent in French myself. Bonsoir, madame. Bonsoir, monsieur. Je suis super contente d'être ici. Je suis une énorme fan de l'émission. Il me tarde trop de rencontrer les invités. On commence quand Pretentious cow. Let's start the show <laughs> This most famous actor, Gérard Depardieu, is here. Yes, he is. A star of the smash hit show Homeland, Damien Lewis is on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We have music and chat from the wonderful Ollie Murs. And joining us later from the set of the hour, Wire star Dominic West will be here. Yes, he is. Gérard Depardieu, formidable. Now, I can't wait. I can't wait to talk about all things French. Of course, uh, nowadays, thanks to the Eurostar, within a mere three hours, you can be in a siding just outside Ashford. <laughs> now, as you know, uh, one of the biggest tourist attractions in France is Euro Disney. Yeah. <gasps> they celebrate all things Disney in their own inimitable way. Here's the princess and the frog. Yeah. Just before she ripped its legs off and ate them. <laughs> of course, the French are famous for their coco van, or as we call it in England, dogging. <laughs> now, when I go to France, I always drive, I always drive, so you know I can stock up on booze, and it's all tax free as long as it's for personal use. Yeah. Here's me coming back from Calais. <laughs> Above all, the French are so passionate about their wine, aren't they? Here's some French wine being made. Mmm. And here's some English wine being made. <laughs> you know it's true. Let's get to the guest So, Dominic West will be joining us, but first, good golly, it's Ollie Murs! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Sorry, I was, I was told to take the crack, so I got to... <laughs> 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 uh, uh... Actually, I have to say, the sofa is very... It's a very Euro sofa tonight, because, uh, bienvenue. Bienvenue. Uh, bienvenue, uh, yes, uh, yes, I, I, I understand. Should... Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've just arrived from, uh, Paris. Paris, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Because, now, it's silly, because you're not so confident with your English, are you? No. Uh, I'm not confident. I, I try to understand much better than I speak. But I understand. I understand enough. Okay. Well, if you have any problems, we have a, a lovely translator for you. There she is. Ah, c'est toi. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. bonjour. Yes. yes. It's very hard to be uh, fat and alone. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got yourself a date there. <laughs> uh, her name's Aurélie. Aurélie, merci. Yes, there Hi, she is. Yes. And uh, it's benvenuto to you, because you could just come in from Italy, Damien, haven't you? Si. Yes. <laughs> no, you're, well, you're, you're, you're filming there, and hence uh, the slightly odd hair. Y yeah, thanks. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Know, that is, I was just bringing that up. I was I... expecting odder. No, uh, I do. I don't yeah. know what Ollie Moore's excuse is, but anyway, keep going. <laughs> I just said made me look like Ollie, and it came out like this. No, uh, this is I. I was the prat that said, "Can you give me the authentic uh, 15th century haircut?" Because I've just been filming Romeo and Juliet out in uh, Italy, and they, oh. they, 
Yeah. Wow. One more. And, wow. Uh, yeah, no, really. and they gave me one, so I look like a penis. <laughs> <afterwards. laughs> and, and, and of course, it's will common to Ollie Morris because you're just back from Germany. I have been in Germany. Yeah, you know, um, I've just been doing my bit of promotion with my, new, my heart skips a beat, which is which is going down really, really well in Germany. So. Woohoo! But nice. they, <laughs> Amazing. I think we're, it, was, it was number one in the iTunes chart over there, which is really, really cool. But it's Excellent. the third biggest music market in the world, and I didn't even know that. So, really? Yeah. I didn't know that either. Amazing. And Damien and Ollie, do you play football together? We did last year, didn't we? Uh, soccer yeah, Race. We played together, and that was one of the first. He's very good. And, uh, Are you really he's a football a good player as well? Head down. And the talking about football, Silky skills. soccer. Soccer, soccer is football, that thing yeah, about yeah. dogs. I mean, if you should talk your English, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, very strong. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I support one uh, Montpellier, you know, in Montpellier! France. Montpellier! Montpellier! Yeah, because they are young, they love the game. Yes. They have the game on the soul. Yes. 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 Soul. My, soul, yes. my soul is here. Yes. yes. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> very exciting, no, because. Uh, <laughs> Later on this year, uh, Asterix and Obelix. Obelix, yes, you're good yeah, self. Obelix, uh, Obelix, you are. You really are Obelix. Yes. It's back. There's wow. a, is, this the, <laughs> is this the fourth? <laughs> incredible. You know, I don't remember being in that film, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that does look quite like. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and this time you shot it in Ireland. Yes. And you were in all the papers, we could, you were going to Ireland, weren't you? You were f flying to Ireland. Yes, I pee on the plane, yes. I thought you were going to tell us a story, kind of, no, it never happened. No, so you did pee on a plane? Of course. Because, <laughs> because you can't stop the, uh, when you have some... Uh, when you want to pee, please, go pee. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody can stop you in, if you want to pee because you can die. And I, I was hurry. I say, please. This not, is not my mind. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is organic things. You know? yeah. And she said, no. I say, okay. Give me a bottle. Give me a bottle of my friend. And I pee on the plane. And she said, ha! <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't worry, I will clean it, I will clean it, <laughs> you know. Oh, too much for the bottle. Too much, uh... yes. <laughs> That can happen. <laughs> papers, the papers had a field day with it. Uh, the Sun, the Sun had, uh, <coughs> Gérard Depardieu has a wee issue. <laughs> the Daily Mail went with, non, non, you can't wee wee here, monsieur. <laughs> uh, Entertainment Online had, what a pisser. <laughs> The Guardian, the Guardian went with Gerard Depardieu accused of urinating on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really get into the swing of it. Unbelievable that they made the, the, the turn of the world. Yes. That uh, pee. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. All boys have peed in a bottle. They have, everybody. Don't you, I, I pee in the car, I often pee in a before, bottle. Yeah. yeah. But I've had half leakage before, similar, like, Yeah, I mean, you've had half. Where you go why for why stop there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What do you mean half leakage? Well, you know, most guys will, will vouch me on this. You go for a toilet and you go for a toilet. You think you're finished, so you put it back in, zip, and then you, you look down and realise that it's continuing to go. And, it, <laughs> and then the, the, common, the common thing that us guys do is, oh, it's the tap. But, you know, the tap was splashing. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm gonna... yeah. It's true. It's okay. true. Yes, it's time. It's time to see one. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Yes. 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 Damon's meant to say yes as well. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's happened. <laughs> no, I don't know how girls manage. Congratulations, <laughs> ladies. I don't see how the girls manage. <laughs> Terrible. I did actually wake up. I used to live in a little muse house with a cobbled street outside, and I woke up in the morning and I've got a pretty vivid dream of pissing in the street. <laughs> and I, 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 oh, I sort of lay there. I just remembered turning. <laughs> Getting out of my bedroom door, not turning right down to the bathroom, but going left, opening the front door, going out into the middle of the street and then just peeing. <laughs> and then going back into bed and going back to sleep again. And I woke up in the morning, I was seeing, oh, did, that, did that really happen? It was getting more and more realistic. There's only one way to find out. I walked out, had a little look at the street and sure enough, Four or five cobbled stones in the middle of the street, just a slightly darker colour than the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, was, you know, sleep pissing. <laughs> <laughs> I had that, very... I had that dead sleeping. 
Very before. strange thing to do. I thought I was going for a toilet in my dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ollie, I I that's just wetting the bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that is. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Depardieu, Oscar nominated, over 180 films. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's amazing. Really Reading about your childhood, you know, when you were young, there was no, it seems like, there was no clue that you would have a life as an actor. It, no. ha it seemed to happen very abruptly. I don't know how it happened, you know, just to, to speak and to meet the people, because I, I love the life and I love the people. I don't think I'm a good actor, you know. Uh, no, because I think that... Uh, acting as as soon as you dream to be an actor, you become very mauvais, very uh, bad. Shit, huh? bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> he went. He went with shit. He <laughs> <laughs> was on his mind, and he just went. Yes, yeah. no, no, I never, never think that I'm good or not good. I don't care. Yeah, I'm just, just uh, believe. In the, in the, yeah, I'm here. You know, I don't know you. You, you know me by the pictures that uh, we, you see, but you don't know me. No, because, it, because it's interesting about uh, people's ambition, because Damien, beside you, you wanted to be an actor from very small, didn't you? Um, about 16, I think, when I decided. Oh, were, you, <laughs> were you smaller when you used to dream of being on, on chat shows? You used to pretend, didn't you used to pretend I to did, be on You're absolutely right. God, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know. Oh. Did... <laughs> don't oh, argue with work. the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I used to. Yes, I used to do. I used to do silly voices in in front of the bathroom mirror. Yeah, as a sort of ten-year-old pretending I was, yeah, being interviewed by Terry Wogan. What sort of uh, things did he ask you at ten? Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you can you now do an Irish accent? So, uh, <laughs> oh, to be sure, yes, I can. <laughs> ten-year-old. I said, now can you do your American accent? Oh, oh yeah, gee, of course I can. You know, <laughs> at ten. You know, just chat your goal. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> And then Ollie, down the end, amazing what's happened to you. Mm. I mean, such, such huge success in a relatively short, short space. space of time. Yeah, well, it's, it's well, 2009 I was on The X Factor now, which is wow. a long time ago. Well, it feels it like a long time ago. It really wasn't. I've had, no, it wasn't. <laughs> um, and The X Factor, The X Factor wasn't your first appearance on a television programme, was it? No, it wasn't, uh, no. no. Uh, because you were on Deal or No Deal. I was, back in the day. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me why I won. We you have a ask... picture of you on the show. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, oh, that sort of gives oh, away. Oh, that sort of gives the end of the story. Yeah. But no, but weren't you were one of those idiots. How much were you offered at one point? Uh, 26 grand. <laughs> <laughs> It was one of the worst moments of my life. Oh, no. It really was. And the thing about it is, it's, it's one of them things where, you, you know, you, you, uh, anyone that's done a TV show, you come off it, and as soon as I won a 10, it was like, yep, see you later, you're off. And I'm sitting there just contemplating the fact that I could have gone away with 26 grand. And then I'm sat on this coach with three other contestants that played that day, and I've got this guy called Johnny next to me, I think he won, like, 45 grand. <laughs> and then I've got this woman next to me that won 16, and... I'm sitting there with a tenner, and they gave me, and they actually give you a certificate that says, congratulations, you, you've won, and then they write it in, you've won ten pounds. <laughs> and I actually had to wait for a cheque as well. No, we didn't just give you a tenner. I was going to get home there. Uh, talking of business now, uh, because Mr. Depardieu oui. uh, is not just acting, you have uh, many other interests. Yes. Uh, so talk us through some of your your businesses. Yes, business. Uh, business. Yes. Don't you do you own a, an oil field in Cuba? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> do you have a Romanian telecommunications and textiles company? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you have two restaurants? Oh, much more. Oh, much more. Yes, four. Did yeah. you buy them when you sold your Romanian telecommunications? <laughs> 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 no, no. <laughs> I have a fisher. Fisher, um, come on, in Boissonnerie. Um, yeah, a fishmonger shop. A fi fishmonger shop, a yes. Fishmonger shop? Yes, <laughs> yes, because I love the fisher, the, the fisherman. <laughs> 
I'm not gay, but I could be gay. <laughs> They can catch me. Yeah. <laughs> and we must talk about your, your great passion for, for food and wine. Yes. Uh, which are really your, your big loves. Much more than uh, Jamie Oliver. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> much because, more. Yeah. Because, okay. But much, much, much more. Okay. And then we wink. Okay. <laughs> I lost my teeth with... Uh, Piece of Jamie Oliver recipe. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, that's al dente for you. <laughs> so we all love food and wine. Food and wine, it's it's gorgeous. But the problem is, the problem is with the food and wine, it's 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 the the grandissement of. Do you have to worry? Do you worry about the... <laughs> the? <laughs> Est-ce que vous, avez, euh, vous êtes inquiet par rapport à prendre du poids quand vous mangez trop? I would never have said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't because I know everybody se termine à l'horizontale. Everybody ends up horizontally, as in dead. Yes. No, you know, I really don't give a shit about that. <laughs> well, you're looking good, sir. You are looking good, sir. But uh, did you go on a water diet once or something? Yes, always. <laughs> that must be terrible. No, it's wonderful, because after water diet, you have one diet. You have two diets. One is nothing, and one, another one, who's everything. <laughs> yeah, well, how, how, how just starvation. Yeah, yeah, just drink water, is that it? Yeah. Uh, water. Just drink water. Yeah, I don't think there's a book in it. Uh, <laughs> day one. <laughs> Fizzy. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm on a no-carb diet at the moment. But, yeah, because I went on holiday at the start of the year and, and went out with my mates and was on the beach. You know they do, the paps are there taking pictures and I had a bit of a belly. So I just decided that is it, I'm going to lose a bit of weight. And uh, I'm eating chicken breast cashew nuts for breakfast. Um, I'm eating steak, steak and green beans for lunch and then salmon or chicken or something for evening. Too sad. No, all, all I'm hearing is no potatoes. No potatoes. No potatoes. No potatoes. No potatoes. I, don't, I don't want to be your uh, closet. I don't want to be your closet. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a closet. <laughs> 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 Is that my wrong? It's a, it's a bad really? one. You look no, good. You look lovely. You look lovely. Pack pack he looks okay. lovely, it's but after, 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 I know. He will look like a, a bullshit. Yeah. He will like bullshit. He will get older, you know. Yes. But you know, the oldness is nothing. It's like the, it's nothing, you know. It's, it's your, on your head. Look, you you wonderful like that. Oh, thank you very much. I am wonderful like that. You too. are wonderful. <laughs> Celebrate, we must celebrate the great success of the award winning uh, Homeland. I don't know if you've seen it. It's already been a huge hit in the States and it's gone incredibly well here. People are loving it here. So now, so far, we know nothing. <laughs> uh, so there are 12 episodes. Yeah. By the end, do we know whether you've been turned or not? When you say turned? Well, you know, <laughs> are you working for the other side? Yeah. Are you a double agent? Uh, uh, it, it will be psychologically and emotionally devastating. So, no, we don't. No. Because <laughs> there's another it's series. It'll be, it'll be very satisfyingly. There will be, there will be resolution of some kind. I think it will be very satisfying for people. And I think uh, there the, are the, the one or two surprises along the way as well between now and then. Uh, but it will leave itself open. Because there's a season two. To, to return. Yes. Are you in season two? Can't tell you that. Is Claire Danes in season two? Yes. 
She's very attractive as well, isn't she? Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yes, hot, yes, yeah. yeah, she is. She's beautiful. Are you going to tweet her as well for a day? The <laughs> 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 balls, oh. balls on you. I love I, it. I, yeah, yeah. Were you drunk when you sent that tweet? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, we, it was a bit of a joke, and then I thought, sod it. Cheryl Cole just tweeted me, so why not ask for a number? Hey, fellas. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but she hasn't well, answered she... yet. Yeah, but her Wi-Fi must be down or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it. Meanwhile, back in oh, Homeland sorry. Land, back yeah. in Earth, <laughs> a lot of the series, it seems, is uh, for an actor, like the, those long torture scenes and things like yeah. that. It must be quite hard to come home and just have a beer and watch Wheel of Fortune after you've done that all day. <laughs> I find it really easy to leave work at work, and I find it really hard revving myself up again to go back to work. I sort of slip out of it far too quickly, and then, and then I have to sort of get myself up early and really sort of focus on on getting back engaged in what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, hanging upside down naked in yeah. a cell in Iraq. Well, how long does that take? I mean, how... Because it's not very safe to be... Uh, that's why they call it torture. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, You always end up doing it for longer than you're supposed to. Oh, OK. It's like I swam in a glacial lake in, in, in Band of Brothers and they smothered me in goose fat. And they said, right, you're only allowed in the water for two minutes, then you have to be out for 20. And then inevitably you're in it for 20 and then you're out of it for two. Yeah. <laughs> and so the hypothermia sets in as you just... As going, can you just go around one more time, please? <laughs> just going around this lake. Like this, oh, you know, sort of going under. Oh. But, uh, that, that always happens in these... These sorts of jobs. And listen, we've got a clip. It's an exclusive clip uh, from next Sunday's uh, episode, and it's sort of where we start to see more of uh, your character's dark side. Oh, really? So when are you going back to work full time? This week, I think. That'll be good. Get you out of the house a little more. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Brody. Brody. What's going on? Is everybody all right? Looks like the soap place didn't really work, Jess. I killed the deer. Give me the gun, Brody. Back off, Mike. No! Go back inside, Chris. Everything's gonna be fine. Come on, Chris. Let's go inside. It's gonna be okay. You know what, Mike? I can handle this. Can you please just tell everybody to go home? No, I'm not leaving you alone. Just go, please. Do what she says, Mike. Make sure Chris stays inside. I don't want him coming back out here. Chris, why? What's the problem? What do you think I'm going to do? I don't think you're going to do anything. All right. I'm going to go get a shovel, clean up this piece before the flies get to it. God damn it! Oh. <laughs> that clip probably made you hungry. You just thought, oh, my God. <laughs> Barbecue! <laughs> no, but it was, it was wonderful, you know, yes, on the series. It, it was a series, that? Yes, yeah. it's a series, yeah. Uh, it's, it's much better than the movie. Well, and TV is now producing all this amazing, of course, amazing of course, stuff. Yes. And it's they're much bit, better, and wonderful. Thank you. Have, yes. That's very nice. It means a lot to me coming from you. Uh, so, Jared Jopper, you're like, but, but also, doesn't President Obama? It, it turns out it's his favourite show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's, um... I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. So, yes, President, President Obama does like the show. He, he, I'm uh, going to keep going with it this, goddammit. It. <laughs> no, but the, the big news in... I mean, you won't give a toss, but in my life, I'm, he's invited me to the White House for wow. dinner. Oh. That's big news in everyone's house. That's amazing. Congratulations. He, he, he just, he loves this show so much. I'm going with Helen to the White House for dinner That's next great. Wednesday. Wonderful. I'm just going wow. to fly to Washington, have dinner, fly back. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. But you how, many, how many, do you know anything about the dinner? Is it literally four well, people, just, yeah, Michelle so, making omelettes? Yeah. What's happening? It's just... <laughs> It's just, the, 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 it's just the Obamas, the Lewises and the Camerons in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Just a kitchen supper. Yeah, kitchen I supper. Know. I don't know, it'll just be a thousand of his closest friends, but I don't care. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. How, do, oh, how does that invitation you. happen? Does it just comes does... through the door. In a very, just, you know, open the envelope. And then Post. It says, yeah, President Obama and Michelle invite you to dinner. Here's our address. Yeah. On, yeah. <laughs> Right, we're you want. we're in the park. big white house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please park round the back. Yeah. I find that wonderful. But uh, the, Mr. Obama is a great president, and he is absolutely right to invite William. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Go with it. Yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> and, because, no, because you've mixed, you no, because you've mixed, you've mixed your morning. I'm just leaving it. Because have you, have you met Obama? No. No. But you've met, is the, the current pope or? Who? The pope? <laughs> Yes, no, the, not that no. current, that before, that one before. Old Pope? Yes. Because you were fans, you were fans everywhere. Did you have a you Have you enjoyed Gerard Orly? She has. <laughs> 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 I won't wait it. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, now, I'm told my final guest has arrived. This man has played characters ranging from a Spartan warrior in 300 to an alcoholic cop in The Wire. And now he's giving his supervillain in the new sci-fi blockbuster, John Carter. Please welcome Dominic West, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. What film? Uh, I'm hosting Loose up. Men. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you exhausted? You've been filming all day. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not exhausted from the filming. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty shaken up from the, uh, from the journey here. I mean, we got... I said, we, we were going along, we got stuck in traffic at Angel, and I said, shall I get out and get the tube? And he said, no, 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 no just hold tight. And we'd <laughs> all the way here, so I've been... Uh, well, that sounds good. good. Yeah, it was all right, yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm pretty uh, exhausted from the, mm. from the journey. Uh, now, Dominic, you, mu you clearly know Damien. Yes, because yes. Because you went to school together. Yeah, we went to two schools together. We went to drama school together, we went to uh, secondary school together. I've been following him all my life, <laughs> even though I'm much older than him. So, hang on, you were at Eaton together? Yeah. And we've got a, a really sweet picture of you at, uh, no. this is, I think it's just after drama school. <laughs> oh, God, where's that? Uh, you look like <laughs> Il Devo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and there's Damien as well. I think Damien's in there as well, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I have to say, Damien, you look like man most likely to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> you and Grifford, yes. You, Dominic, not a hope. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to him, he's working in a shop now. Uh, he's never going to make it. <laughs> now, uh, before you came on, we were talking about uh, various fans, like, you know, like President Obama likes the, the homeland. Mm -hmm. But you like to interact with your fans online. Oh, yes, I said that, didn't I? Yes, 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 I did once. I did, uh, or I did, or did, yes. No, I was asked in an interview, do you Google yourself? And, and I was... Um, uh, at, a, at a loss to answer. I said, yeah, of course I Google myself all the time. <laughs> and, you know, when you've got lots of things to do. And, um, so, uh, and she said, what do you mean? Well, I said, well, you know, occasionally you get on a forum and you, you read things about yourself that you disagree with and you sort of think, well, I'm going to put this right. And then, you know, I may be, uh, you know, I may, you may think I'm talentless, but I'm not fat, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get sucked in on Twitter? Do you get sucked into... <laughs> oh, you do. You can't help it, though, because, you, you know, it's anything, though, when you... And you're doing something, you think you're doing an amazing job of you know, Extra Factor, for example, or I've just released a new single, and you'll get hundreds of tweets saying it's amazing, but you'll get one person say something horrible. So, to so say, I don't know, Joey Bloggs 24 says, Oli Merz, you're an absolute twat, hate you, hate Essex, hate you that live in it, hope you go and die. Um, <laughs> which is what I get. <laughs> but the he, he didn't stick with him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was like water of a duck's back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just <laughs> made that one up. Um, <laughs> I, did, I did find his house and... <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, you just retweet it, Pat. You can retweet it so all your fans see and then all your fans just... And, but, and in the forums, did people believe it was you? No, I didn't get... No, I didn't get into it very... I think people just thought I was some... some um, well, they probably did think it was me and thought, oh, how sad, we'd better leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> I had to start up a Twitter account just recently because I kept getting in trouble with studios or TV networks, whatever, saying, Damien, can you stop releasing, you know, the, 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 the premiere dates of our shows or the, the first transmission date because we want it to be, you know, a big press release. I said, I don't, I, I don't have a Twitter account. It's not me. Wow. It's not me because there's no there's no control over the domain or the name, so they can they any, get, anyone can be you. You just... can get it verified. Which I don't, means I don't, they know it's. I don't think you can you. anymore. Really? No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, now I'm I'm going to ask this question. I may regret it. 
Gerard, do you tweet? <laughs> We're okay. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand the the, the things about the tweet and even even the TV uh, things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, has, no. 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 Now, uh, we've got to talk about your uh, new movie, uh, John Carter. They've been trying to make it since 1931. I this movie, haven't they? Yeah, well, I suppose, yeah. I mean, it's 100 years old, the book, so <laughs> at least since then, yeah. Big sci-fi epic, um, and it's out tonight. And you play tonight. John Carter's arch nemesis. Yes. Um, Sabtan. Sab yes. Sabtan. Sabthan. Sorry, Sabthan. Yeah. <laughs> Um, or Fab Tan, if you, if you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're marvellous. I know, I've seen it. Before. Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, it is 3D. A great... Yes. I think you have to see it 3D, don't you? Yes, I suppose you do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, or blurry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one... <laughs> uh, but it, it's a fantastic big science fiction. Fi uh, <laughs> a big science fiction epic. And as you say, it's based on this very old book, like Edward uh, Burroughs, the yeah. man who gave us Tarzan. He was a sort of. The first guy to write science fiction, really, in yeah. the 20th century, anyway. And, he, um, and they've been trying to make it ever since. And, and lots of science fiction films like Star Wars or whatever uh, drew from it. And there's, a, there's like in, in John Carter, there's these characters called the... Um, the, the well, I am, actually. I'm a Jeddak. And they go, hey, Jeddak. And Jeddak means sort of chief or whatever. And, and I read this and the thing, I thought, God, they're just cribbing this from Star Wars. But it was actually John Carter oh, the, that came oh, to the way around. Yeah. Uh, listen, we've got a clip. Uh, this is you uh, on Basum. 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 So I've only seen it once. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> this is you on Basum meeting the Helium Princess. Yes. Here's the clip. She does not trust me, Jeddak. And why should she? There's never been trust between Zadanga and Helium. Therefore, Princess, I offer you this small but sincere token of my goodwill. My life. You hold the power, Princess. The power of life over me and over all Barsoom. With our two cities united, anything is possible. All you have to do is marry me. Nice. And, and seriously, it's a great romp, and there are, some of the creatures are fantastic. They are, aren't they? they? Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. good. And, yeah, yeah, it's Willem Dafoe going around in stilts with four pairs of hands and... Uh, it's, it's weird. I mean, it's totally weird, but it's... it's is that it's Willem great. Dafoe? That's Willem Dafoe, yeah. I had no idea. And Samantha idea. Morton is the other one, his daughter. Oh, is that? Yes. I saw her name at the end, and I yes. thought, I wonder who she was. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but it is great. It's really good fun. It's really good fun. Uh, now, uh, Ollie, uh, yes. you're going to be singing for us tonight. Yes. And uh, yeah. uh, it's... Uh, Goodness yes. is the new single, third single off the album. Yes. Uh, the single's out on the 1st of April. But before you do, I just have to check, is it, are you sure you're still single? I'm still 100% single, yeah. I love that. 100% single. <laughs> <laughs> this is confirmed. <laughs> I'm 100%, yeah. Now, is one of the reasons that you still live at home with your mom? Well... Possibly. <laughs> ah. Oh. No, I... Oh, I've just... that's just lame. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've, He's I've, a millionaire. No, I did. I've, I've just bought a place. I have just bought a place. Oh, lovely. Yes. So I, I, I'm in Braintree or in, with them? It's in Essex, yes, near Chelmsford. Oh, nice, nice. Just up the road. It's only about ten minutes away from home, so I can still get me washing, me ironing. <laughs> 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 and I've heard you say in an interview that you you tell you don't sleep with stunning women. You turn down stunning yeah. women. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Now, why is that? No, because I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? Oh, yeah, I did, I did. I, do you know what? I'm glad. I'm sure want, that's what you meant. I wanted yeah. to bring this up in front of other yeah, men. Of I just wanted to, to yeah. see if it was just me. So no, go, go no, explain why you don't. I'll tell you why, right? Because before, before I got famous, no good looking girls would come near me. Yes, anyway. that's right. And, then and now what's happened? You're famous. Yeah, so you get loads of gorgeous girls come up to you, which is incredible, but they only want one thing, and that's to sell a story or, or you know. I say let them. <laughs> 
Yeah, but, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm not that kind of guy, you know? Hey, I just, uh... You're an idiot! <laughs> Men, do you agree, Damien? He, he... Oh, very noble. No, oh, do you think? Very noble, yeah. No. Now, Gerard, I know you, you like... <laughs> no, you like... <laughs> yeah, you, you, you... <laughs> I, I read somewhere that you uh, particularly like women who, who enjoy food, who enjoy food and wine. No, no, I love women, but uh, I don't know if they love me. But uh, I respect, <laughs> I respect her, but I love to be, to have a conversation and to make you some uh, kind of humor and uh, to touch some, to sometimes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the difference between England and France, do you think? <laughs> or just a few mool and a bit of a grope? <laughs> no, because I'm sure you probably agree with Ollie, because it sounds like in your relationship, you're, you're sort of the lady in your relationship, it sounds like. <laughs> what? What, in, in, I in... wouldn't stand for that, Don. That's like No, because I read about your wedding. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was. I was like Bridezilla, yeah. <laughs> my wife wanted to get married in the pub, and I, I said, well, you know, I, I, I don't want to get married in the pub. I've been dreaming of this day all my life. <laughs> <laughs> so she, as it, before the photographs, I'm sort of there in a sort of ridiculous, uh, ostentatious outfit, and she's sort of next to me going, oh, God, when we get this over, and they <laughs> did the whole church thing, then they go in the tent, and I was in the band, and then I stood up and made a speech for about half, and it was, it was an entire sort of the, the, the Dominic West show. It was everything I'd ever wanted to do I just got it off my chest <laughs> <laughs> she was she was a reluctant but but supportive um, <laughs> spectator really <laughs> your special day <laughs> well Ollie, I hope you've learned something this I evening have, I, have, uh, I must sleep with lots of gorgeous girls yes <laughs> you don't have to sleep with them just you know talk about food and grope them yeah, yeah. <laughs> Selfish. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah. Thanks, Gerard. Hey, listen, if you'd like to go yes. and uh, get ready to sing, oh. there he goes. And still to come, this week's stories in the famous red chair. But first, singing his new single, Oh My Goodness, it is Ollie Murs! <laughs> Goodness, I can't hide it. You just smiled when you walked by me. Oh, my goodness, a warning sign that no one showed me. Lost control, but please don't hold me back. Gonna go for it. I hope you're ready for it. Oh, oh, oh. come on, because I don't go.
Time for a story two in the red show before we go. So who's up first? Oh, <coughs> literally, bonjour. Yes, bonjour. Uh, what's your name? Bonnie. But, uh, how funny? <laughs> bonjour, Bonnie. Bonjour, Bonnie. Bonnie, bonjour. Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. And uh, where do you live, Bonnie? London, but I'm from Australia. Okay. She could be a secret agent. <laughs> <laughs> she may have been turned. <coughs> We're not <laughs> sure. And uh, what do you do in London? I work for a children's charity. Okay. We'll say no more <laughs> before their fundraising is ruined. <laughs> uh, okay, off you go, Bonnie. Uh, so I want to tell you about a time when one of my friends decided to simulate fellatio using an ice lorry, <laughs> and it went completely wrong. We were sitting in the living room and she was moving this ice lolly in and out of her mouth and saliva was building up on this thing and all of a sudden when the, when the ice lolly was deeply in her mouth, her lips froze to the base of the ice lolly. That can happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> to, to, to a friend. And so, so at first she thought it was funny, but then she realised her lips were well and truly frozen to this thing. And this look of panic came over her eyes. Her eyes We've started... all seen that look, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> so her eyes were watering. <laughs> Mouth, yeah, and I yeah. grabbed her by the arm, yeah. dragged her to the kitchen, and I shoved her head under the, under the running tap. And she thought I was trying to drown her, so she was hitting me and struggling with me. And I was forcing her head back under, and eventually her her lips kind of melted away from this thing, and and that was it, really. So yeah. poor Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, right, we're done, we're done, we're done. So have a go in the red chain. Go back to my website at this address. Uh, thank you so much to my guests tonight, Mr. Oliver's, Jamie <laughs> Lewis, Sean Gabriel, and Mr. David West. Join me next week with musical guest David Guetta, comedian Joe Brand, and Hollywood heartthrob Hugh Grant. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>